Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review fountain pens. And today I'm going to revisit a favorite pen of mine in a different version that's new to me, but not really new to the market, maybe new to you. And this is the Jin Hao 51A. And what I, what's different about this one, I've reviewed this pen before and I'll, I'll put a link up there because it is one of my favorites. But it comes in several versions. It comes in different finish, not finishes, but materials. This one is a resin pen and I'll show you that as we get closer up. But they also come with different nibs. And you can get this in a number five nib from Jin Hao or a hooded nib. But this pen comes with a bobby custom nib. And Chris Rat 52 who's uh, got an awesome uh, fountain pen review channel, he, he has raved about this pen and recommended this pen in the comments when I reviewed the Jin Hao 51A. And uh, so I finally bit the bullet and I went and I got this pen. And I want to share my impressions of this pen with you today. So let's flip the camera and take a closer look at this Jin Hao 51A with a Bobby custom nib. All right, so what we have here is a Jin Hao 51A, a familiar pen again on this channel and possibly to you as well. If you're not familiar, however, the Jin Hao 51A is a take, a Jin Hao take on a Parker 51. So if you're familiar with a Parker 51, you're going to be familiar with some of the aspects of this pen. And if you're not, well, then this is just totally new to you, and that's fine. So first you have a stainless steel cap, a resin body, and if I can get that to focus a little bit better, as you can see, this is kind of a smoky gray and black resin. Now you can get this in a lot of different finishes. I'm not sure all of what's available uh, in with a Bobby custom nib, but the Jin Hao 51A is available in a lot of things. And uh, the Bobby I know is available too in this particular resin, which probably is my favorite of the uh, Jin Hao 51A resins. I just think I, I like that. Those colors to me are, are, are cool. Of course, blue and green, my favorite colors, so not shocking. Uh, but it comes with a sta stainless steel cap, resin body. I won't go a full review, quite as much detail on all those things because I have reviewed the pen before. What really is of interest here is the nib. And the nib, as you can see, is a bent nib with a good smooth writing surface. I, I really will best explain this when we get to the writing sample. But it has an upturned nib which provides, depending on the angle that you hold it at, different line widths. And so there is possible uh, line variation, not through uh, how you press the nib. This is a steel nib, a firm steel nib, uh, but instead how you hold the pen. And so it's similar to uh, I think at least it's similar to a Fude nib. The last pen I reviewed, the uh, Delike Fude nib, uh, of course, is a finer line than this. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll see that in, in the sample. The pen does come, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you this much, it's a hooded nib only as far as its availability. And it does come with a good converter, a decent converter, and I, I have generally good luck with uh, Jin Hao converters anyway. So if you've had good luck with that, you kind of know the experience. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right into the writing sample of the Bobby Nib. All right, so let's see how this pen writes. Again, this is the Jin Hao. 51A. Now you will notice that the writing line of this is uh, almost a little bit marker thick in places and then gets quite thin there and that is what this uh, nib is all about. Very uh, smooth. And this is a Bobby, whoops, a Bobby custom nib. And the ink is a Birmingham Pins purple. And it's their Imperial purple. That's an ink, by the way, 
that if they still have it, they've had on clearance a really good deal and a really nice ink. But Birmingham is uh, changing up some of their operations and going to be making uh, in-house, I think, their own inks and things. So this one was made in the UK. And it's a nice ink. You can grab a good bargain while you can. And then I'm looking forward to what they come up with in the future. I'm going to be quiet and let you hear. Again, this is a smooth, smooth nib. And it just... The nib just behaves so well. So it's a little wet, uh, not crazy wet, just really nicely done. And as it goes across the page, it's just, this is a, a fun pen to write with. And as I said, you can see there's some variation there. If you hold it straighter up, then you will get a, uh, a thinner line like that. If you lean it back, uh, kind of this is just my normal writing angle then you're going to get a broader line still very good and smooth and that's actually my favorite angle to write at with this pen just really really cool you can hear my english teacher saying just really really cool is not a great description that means different things to different people it does but that's what I got. What can I tell you? <laughs> I'm out of words. I have been quarantined, uh, not quarantined, but you know, sheltered in place for going on the. Uh, I don't. I don't know what 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 year is this. And <laughs> like a lot of people, I think I have shelter in place brain, it quarantine brain, and it's just not working quite so well. But this uh, this pen works better than my brain today. Just really, really great pen. And I, I can let me just do some quick stuff here. Uh, if I were to just write Jin Hao again. It just, it doesn't even begin to struggle. It just goes and goes and goes and writes dramatically if you want it to. Excellent, excellent pen. Uh, if you've looked at different reviews of the Bobby Nib and thought, can that really be as good as they say? My answer is going to be absolutely it is. Now, here's the real kicker about this. So this is uh, Bobby's custom nib for your pen. It's, it's that turned up thing. Every review I've ever seen, their experience was as good as mine. Every bit as good as mine. And I would highly recommend the pen. Here's what's cool eight bucks the last time that I looked at the website. I got mine uh, from, uh, go to Etsy and look up Bobby Custom uh, Nib. I will put a link in the description of this video and you'll find the pen. Eight bucks delivered with a, a nib that performs this well. And even though this is an inexpensive pen, this is a quite a decent looking inexpensive pen. I know, I'm gonna put this one here because I know he has it in this resin most of the time available as well. I don't know if he has it in the, this is just the plastic pen. Those are usually cheaper when it's a normal nib. I don't know if he has it in that. I, I, but I think you can get the nib by itself if you already have one of these and want to upgrade it. But I would re highly recommend either of these. This again is my favorite as far as the resin. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And uh, I'd recommend too uh, going and grabbing that Birmingham ink if you're looking for a good purple. That's actually, I should probably do a review of that because that was uh, a quest of mine to find a good dark purple and I really like this one. All right, so that's it. That's my my take on the Bobby Custom Nib and the Jinhao 51A. My take is go get one. Go get one. I really like that pen. God bless you and uh, I hope you're staying well and safe. Have a great week.